So Canva just unlocked beast mode for marketers by releasing a whole bunch of new AI features. They released Magic Morph, Magic Translate, Magic Animate, Magic Switch, so many more new these AI magic features, but all these features are paid. Give me your lunch money. So I just paid forty dollars to test them out to see if they live up to the hype. So you don't have to. The feature that got excited me the most is called Magic Transform. Basically, let's say you have a can of post, you have like have a carousel post, you have a presentation. It can automatically transform that content into a document. So let's see if it's any good. Here I have a Canva post, which is going to be a carousel post from my Instagram. So this is to promote my app Prompt Genie. So just a bunch of prompts here. On the top, you'll see Resize and Magic Switch. Here we're going to try transform into a doc. So once you click on this button, you're going to see different ways you can transform this document. So you have like executive summary, create a blog post, presentation outline, marketing ideas, LinkedIn post, bunch of options. Or you can type anything you want as well. We're just going to type this as a blog post, so, you know, and see what happens. You know, it's a simple enough post for a blog post. And as soon as I did it, it turned that post into a document. So let's see what it did. So it seems like it took the topic of building a digital marketing plan, but instead of distilling that this is basically a bunch of prompts, it thought those were the strategies and it documented that accordingly. So it's not the best result, not what I wanted, but you know, still a good start for this tool. So let's try this one more time with a different document. So now here I have basically for a pitch for a startup, which was trying to build in 2019. So I have like, you know, just a whole bunch of like stuff you need for your pitch. I'm just going to see and try to turn this into a business plan here again, using the same transform feature. There's much more meat in this piece of content. So this is probably going to be a better test for this feature and see if it executes well. Here I have like, you know, about 30, 30 odd slides, just a bunch of different things about that startup. And now here I have a business plan. It does take some stuff off the presentations. It's retaining some of the styling. It's retaining most of the content. This is a much better job than the previous one we just tried. It's still not perfect. I feel like if I were to actually transform this into a pitch for any presentation I'm applying for, like any pitch I want to submit to an investor, I might still have to do some editing on top of the document. But as like, you know, as a starting point, as a first draft, it does a good job. So I'll probably give this like 7.5 out of 10 for this feature. They just released the feature. So I hope this gets better and it's going to be quite game changing because it will save time. So I've done something similar already in my business where I've tried to turn like a presentation into a document or like, you know, use one format of document to rewrite another application. But hopefully this will make things a lot more easier once it gets better. So the next feature is going to look at is Magic Animate. In the demo video, they showed that if you have a presentation, you have any graphic that you're building within Canva with Magic Animate, it's going to automatically apply animation to your design. So you don't have to do animations yourself if you try to add more animations to your design, even for school, for work, just to kind of make things more engaging and more present for so here, I'm just going to select all my presentations here and I'm going to just go hit magic animate and let's see what we get. All I have to do is like pick a style of animation I want. So like professional, bold, elegant, energetic, playful, animate, whatever I choose. I'm just going to pick professional since it's a pitch presentation and it basically animates all my slides. Okay. It seems to have done a pretty good job. Like there's a slow transition. There's like a different kinds of animation. Sometimes it's fading. Sometimes it's more swiping up. Sometimes it's just all coming together. I quite like it. I just like those subtle animations. If you just want to do it quickly, it's a good feature, but it does remind me of like you know the early PowerPoint era where like everybody starts animating everything and it just gets clunky and it's kind of like silly but fun but yeah this is like a lot more professional for sure yeah I would rate this definitely like you know 9.5 out of 10 so definitely lives up to the hype this one the next feature we're gonna take a look at it's called magic translate push list marketing is gonna be a big thing in the future so there's probably like you know it's gonna be useful when that happens so again we're gonna go back to the same carousel post with a bunch of prompts and I'm gonna translate my post into a different language We'll just pick Portuguese because apparently one of my apps has a lot of Portuguese users. So we'll just pick Portuguese here and then keep the tone of voice as original and see what happens. So I cannot confirm how accurate the translation is. I mean, translation is like not really an AI part, but you know, it's still a part of an AI suite feature for them where it automatically translates your media assets into different languages. So I cannot say how well they translated the content, but I can do say is that it has kind of changed the formatting a little bit. So when the text was longer or something, it didn't automatically adjust the layouts. Maybe it's just how the layering in the design was and maybe if a better design layering, it will adjust itself. So I cannot really say if it's like a feature problem or like my design problem. But uh, yeah, I mean, I wish it could basically do it all by itself. With that in mind, I would give it like, I don't know, seven, eight out of 10 because I cannot confirm the language. Neither can I confirm if like that, you know, alignment issue is my issue or the app issue here. Either way, you know, if you do look into personalized marketing, this is going to speed up things quite a lot because you don't have to like design things again. You can just quickly get this 
push track going and adjust from there. Moving on, the next feature we're gonna look at is called their magic resize. So basically like, you know, let's say you do an Instagram post, you do a Facebook post, you do an ad on one platform. You can use this feature to automatically resize the design. So let's say I have like this banner for my YouTube. Now I want to turn this into a banner for my LinkedIn as well. All I'm gonna do here is go to magic switch. It's gonna automatically resize my design into the format I'm looking for. Seems to have done a decent job. I've tried like, you know, going from whatever original I had. I'm not sure what I had originally, but basically I went from whatever I had to YouTube, then from YouTube to LinkedIn. It is sort of like shrinking and like expanding the design automatically, kind of like getting into the right uh, aspect ratios and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it does like shrink the text quite a lot. It kind of had like expanded a bit more. So it's like kind of fills up the space more. So yeah, I'll give this one like, you know, seven out of 10 as well, because I feel like it's not perfect. Like I would still have to make some edits. I wish it could have been basically just, you know, plug and play. The next feature we're going to look at is called Magic Grab. Magic Grab is one of the features which got super popular, super viral across the social media. Basically what it does is that, let's say you have any photo, it will automatically detect different elements in the photo. We can just click and drag that element across your design canvas. So I tried this first with one of my photos and like with my photos, you know, it kind of works, but it's not perfect. And I kind of looked into it more where people are using, but it turns out it works better. Like if you're working on like, you know, the actual graphic design post versus like just a photo photo. So to test this better, I took a screenshot of like just this graphic from one of the newsletters that I like to read. So it's, I like this design, you know, it's got a like nice quirks to it. And here we have like this chain with 7-Eleven of this football player. And uh, let's say if I wanted to move this part of the design to someplace else, you know, maybe I'm repurposing my older post or maybe I'm trying to like, you know, take screenshot and like trying to experiment with some design or something. So I can use the magic grab feature and I can just select the objects or I can, you know, use a brush to select the area for what I'm trying to move. And then it's going to like automatically grab that part of the graphic and now I can just move it around wherever I want. So let's say, you know, you're working with the team and somebody gives you a design that's just not perfect. Something is misaligned. We can then extract all these different elements and move them around to make your design look better. I like this feature in this context for sure. I will give this one like 8.5 out of 10. I think it's super useful. Like one of those things that you don't need until you need it. And once you need it, this is like super useful and saves so much time. And the next feature we're going to look at is called Magic Morph. So Magic Morph is basically what's going to change like the texture or like kind of the styling of any image or graphic that you have. I've tried this out. It doesn't work with the images, but it does work with any graphics that you want. We're just going to use a simple graphic from the Canvas library. Since we're talking magic, I'm just going to get a genie lamp or something. So here we have a genie lab. I'm going to go to apps. I'm going to search for magic morph and I have the magic morph here. So I can just type whatever I want the newer style to look like, or I can just pick an example from the bottom here, like jewels, party balloons, pretzels, basically whatever you want. Now it turns like the design and the style of design into whatever you're describing. Here we have when I say like something magical, here we have one with jewels. So it's quite decent. I didn't express much creativity here, but you kind of get the idea where if you have a creative idea, you want it to blend with like your brand. Maybe you're trying to do something SpongeBob themed and then you want to turn this into like SpongeBob style stuff. So you can basically turn any graphic or text into that style. So super useful if you want to try to keep things on brand or certain aesthetic you're trying to do while you don't want to spend too much time doing graphic design yourself. So yeah, these are the features I wanted to explore today, which is a part of Magic Suite, which sadly is only on a paid plan. Uh, well, you tell me, is it worth upgrading to this plan? Good question. I think it really depends on how much you use Canva and what features you want to use. If there's something you're doing for school, I'd probably say, eh, not worth it. I mean, it really depends on how critically you want these features. However, if you are doing a marketing job, and then, you know, you are working an agency or a freelancer, you know, content creator, feel like it might be worth it because like the amount of stuff you can do with this thing is going to save so much time that those 30, 40 bucks is probably going to be worth it. But again, you know, to each their own. Let me know in the comments what you think, hype or no hype. But yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see. I hope this was useful to you. My $40 are worth spent here. If you like the video, give it a like. If you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. I'll be creating more videos about tools, tutorials for marketers and how to navigate the AI space. See you next time.